We're sitting down with Cold River Records recording artist Dylan Schneider. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. And first off, congratulations on the release of your latest single to country radio. Yeah, How does that same. sound? Yeah. Give us a little uh, background and tell us a little bit about that song. Um, super excited about it. You know, the song, uh, we wrote it last year and we released it early on independently. And I always thought, you know, it sounded like something that would be cool to bring out to country radio, this and that. So we jumped on it and, uh, you know, it's it's really exciting. I wrote it with uh, Jaron Johnson and Corey Crowder and... It's just been a really cool thing to see, you know, from from doing all the independent social media stuff and taking it kind of to this level. It's exciting. And clearly, everyone is loving the sound of your music. Collectively, you have over 60 million streams on your songs. With your new single, you have over 13 million streams. What has that been like for you, seeing people gravitate towards your music and your craft? It's crazy. Um, you know, it's something I always dreamed of, and, and it's very, very uh, exciting just to see. It's so early right now. It's you know, it's going on, and, and I can't wait to see where it uh, goes. But no, I'm very thankful for it, and um, all my fans have been amazing. You know, they jump on the songs. Uh, everybody down in Nashville, people like John Marks over at Spotify, has really helped push that and, and make that possible. And I'm thankful for it. And Billboard, they named you one of country music's next rising star, and you've had a stellar year this year, full of just tons of performances, huge festivals, and you're still going strong. Do you kind of feel like 2018 has been a big game changer for you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like it's been great. There's been a lot of new experiences. Um, the past, like, two years of my life, have, they've all had very, very special moments. They've all been special in their own ways, you know. It's been huge um, this, this, just to see the growth and, and what's going on. But this summer was, was an eye-opener, a game changer, just playing all those festivals. Like you said, like, Faster Horses and Lake Shake and, and going up to Washington for Watershed. All great, all fun, and it just shows me, you know, the possibilities and, and where it can go from there. It's It's been really cool. Are you already starting to gear up towards 2019? Because, I mean, it's literally right around the corner at this point. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Um, I'm excited for next year. Next year, I think I, I want to make it more of a game changer than this year was. You know, I want to do a lot more. I want to be a lot more involved in what goes on with me rather than letting things kind of, you know, go wherever they go. I want to be more with it and I'm excited about next year for real it's going to be uh it's going to be a challenge but you know I mean I've always heard if you're not you know a little bit afraid or ready to take risks then you're never going to accomplish anything big and that's exactly what I want to do I think next year it's going to be huge for us awesome well, that's exciting um and I know you've been on the road throughout this entire year and even years previously performing for folks that haven't seen you perform live how would you best describe your set it's just full of energy. I mean, there's nothing really, it's it's a show. You know, you want to come see a show, you want to come have fun, and that's what we're going to give you. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not too right down the middle. You know, we don't, like, roll off a script. It's just we play music and we have fun. So if you like that fun, come listen to the music, and, and we'll do that. You know what I'm saying? It's a good time. We get really into it. Awesome. We're excited. And speaking of being out on the road and traveling from city to city, if you were to get stuck in a city for a few days, multiple days in a row, what city would you want to get stuck in and why? Uh, I'll tell you where it wouldn't be. It'd be somewhere out in the middle of Wyoming, that's for sure. I don't even know any other places out there. We drove through there the other day. It's like, what is going on? But um, for real, if I had to get stuck somewhere, I would want to get stuck, uh, honestly, um, down south, uh, Gulf Shores, Alabama. I want to get stuck there. I have family there, and I just love it. I, you know, I love uh, the golf, everything about that place. It's beautiful, and... It's warm, and, you know, I can go to the beach and this and that. that that's where I'd want to be stuck, for real. Yeah. Perfect. You've been really busy introducing yourself and your music to fans, but as a fan yourself, what is one song that's kind of always resonated with you and still today when you hear it, it kind of takes you back and brings back some good memories? Um, honestly, far as far as what I'm doing now in, in country music and what I love, like, I remember I was in middle school and it was like right after I had come out of elementary, it was like the second year or whatever. I was meeting a lot of new people at the time and just like, you know, friends and now we'd hang out, you know, we'd, we'd go have some fun, we'd party, we'd throw parties and and uh, one of the stuff or one of the things we always listened to was that new FGL record, Here's the Good Time. So we listened to like Cruise and Around Here and like Cruise is like kind of the big song that got me into country music and Here's to the Good Times, that song as well. But those are like always ones that like take me back just because that's what got me into country music and started it for me and, and I saw other people loving it and it made me love it and kind of got me into the you know, singing, writing, everything. So. Really cool. mm -hmm. um, music is consistently evolving and it's growing. In your opinion, what is one thing that you feel really sets country music apart from any other genre? It's not afraid to be different. Um, and I'm not saying that other genres aren't, but because um, other genres are, but um, 
the artists aren't afraid to be a little bit different, you know, is what I'm saying. Like, and, and, and you'd expect that just because I feel like there's a lot of backlash from the new stuff and it gets a lot, you know, like I said, I'm not saying that other genres aren't different, but I'm just saying country music has more of a lane to stay in and people aren't afraid to get out of it. And I love that. I have no problem with that. You know, I, I respect country music for what it is. I respect the old stuff. I respect the new stuff. I mean, it's working. You know, if it's working, you can't really get mad at it. Just, you know, just, if you don't like it, don't listen to it. I mean, that's a big thing. I like all I like all music. I grew up listening to hip hop, pop. Um, I love dance music, you know, and I, country was like one of the last ones I really got into. Um, so I don't really have anything bad to say about any music. You know, I just like that country and people, a lot of people are in country are taking it a little bit farther, you know, and doing their thing regardless of what people that say real country is. You know, we, we can make it whatever we want. And like you said, music is always evolving. I ask people all the time. I'm like, you listen to hip hop right now. Is Ray Shrimmerd the same as N.W.A.? No, it sounds different, you know, but everybody loves it. Sure. Like the music or you don't. I mean, that's a big thing. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to catch up with us. We really appreciate it. We're super excited about everything that's going on with you and wish you the best of luck the rest of this year. Hey, thank you all so much for having me. I appreciate you guys coming out. How does it sound when I cross your mind? We you thinking about us on a Friday night. Are we black top burning, spinning the tires? Are we slow dancing? A vinyl record, a to a mixtape, a cover band playing on Broadway. Is it quiet in the background or is it turned up loud? Do you hear that rain on the roof of an F-150 sitting up high looking out on the city?